retweets about you. You get like all these retweets from people from Idaho. They have a huge following. How many texts from people back home would you say you get on a daily, if not daily basis? Quite a bit. You know, I'm very blessed to be a part of the Idaho family, the Vandal family. Um, it, it's so awesome and amazing to see all my, my old friends, teammates, maybe some just acquaintances. Um, I've even had, I think I had like five teammates at the game that had played with me prior. So just uh, everybody that's, that's there and all the love and support they're giving is uh, it's a blessing. How has this preseason gone? I guess like when you got to camp, you expected it to go a certain way, you expected it to come out. How's it gone compared to your expectations? Um, man, expectations are tough because uh, you build something up and you might uh, think something's going to be a little worse than it is. And it seems like it's always the opposite of that, you know. And so um, having my dad play prior it has definitely helped me. Having great leadership in, the, in my room and on the team in general, great coaches, a great staff, it has all been a blessing. Um, but there's definitely some things that are a little different than you thought. And there's some things that maybe weren't just how you thought. So it's uh, it's been fun. It's It's been a blessing to be out here, but um, there's definitely some things that are like, whoa, that that happened this way, and there's some things like, yeah, I, I was told that's going to happen. So it, it's been a, it's been fun. Special teams is going to be real important to you, isn't it? Yes, sir, it is. Special teams going to be very important. Um, thanks to the coach Rizzi and all of them for just the opportunities that they keep giving me. Um, I'm excited to keep getting better, keep working my heart out in that, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a blessing. I guess you had to assume the special team was going to be big for you coming in, but did you expect to get as much uh, run at linebacker with the top group? Or? You know, I wasn't sure how that was going to go. Again, that's one of those things that you don't really – coming in, you hope so, but you really don't know, you know. You, you have no idea. And um, just the, the opportunities I'm getting to have and just the reps to, to learn it. You know what I mean? Because it's one thing to study the playbook, and it's one thing to chalk it up on the whiteboard and all that. But to actually get to go in and – and do it either well or maybe make a mistake, but learn from it and get to see it happen in front of you and feel it. That, that's such, it's, I'm so grateful for that opportunity. I'm grateful for the coaches. I'm grateful for my vets just really pouring into me and helping me out in that stuff. With your dad in the NFL, you getting a grade from your family a little bit on how you're doing? One more time, I'm sorry. Are you getting a grade on, on how well you're doing? A grade? Uh, my little brother always tells me, he, my brother Christian, who's a linebacker at Idaho, is always like, hey, if you ran a little harder, you could have two more tackles. You know, something like that. So uh, my little brothers are always uh, nitpicky at me because I'm nitpicky at them. Um, but uh, they're, they're watching, and I wouldn't say it's a grade. They're just watching and supporting me, loving me. And my dad is uh, definitely coaching me up in a lot of things, but it's great to have it that way, and it's great to be able to learn not only for my coaches and my vets, but also for my dad who's been here and has done this. Going into the third preseason game, you know, it's almost the end of the preseason. It's going to be hard making team, the team for a lot of players. What are you guys stressing, especially guys that, that are rookies? What do, you, what do you need to stress going into this game? Man, we're just uh, stress, stressing the details. And that's something keep, coaches keep talking about is making sure we're doing the details, the little things. Um, I mean, watching that first group, of de uh, defensively speaking, watching that first group out there, DeMario and AJ and every position out there, they were flying around. They shut them out. The Chargers weren't moving the ball well on them. They were getting turnovers. And then um, when a second group came in, we, you know, 90, I think a 98-yard drive, little things like that. But if you look at that drive, it was little details, you know, the, just the little things that um, coaches are really trying to get us to really pay attention to and, and to really learn from. And um, so today's practice was awesome, obviously a little sore. But uh, getting to come out here and kind of go through those scenarios again, run through those plays one more time, and getting those little details right, um, that's been something that we're stressing. I was thankful to get to do that today.